Welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how I airbrushed those water droplets on this panel. That's coming up right now, so let's get into it. Okay, so I've just got an old panel here, just a small sheet of color bond. Um, you can use aluminium composite panel, basically any hard surface will work. Obviously, it needs to be flat for this particular water drop demonstration, but you'll see why in a minute. So what I'm doing is I'm just using a wax and grease remover by House of Color, and I'm just giving the panel a clean prior to sanding it. The reason you want to do this is so that you don't sand any of the contaminants into the surface. Um, this isn't obviously a brand new panel, just one I had lying around the studio. I thought I'll just use that for the um, purpose of the demonstration. So I'm just prepping this up so that I can uh, spray a base colour down first. And that'll be the basis for the water droplets. So I'm not too worried about, you know, the scratches and bits and pieces in there because I'm going to paint straight over that in, in a minute. Alright, so just grey scotch bright, give that a scuff up and then a bit more degreaser. I'm going to go ahead and give it another clean just to get any of that sanding residue off. like so, and a clean cloth to dry it. It will evaporate by itself, but you still want to rub it off so that you don't um, leave any of that wax and grease remover residue on there. Now, usually if I'm doing artwork, I would then follow this with a water-based uh, degreaser, but for this purpose, I'm not going to do that. It's only an effect and a few little imperfections in the panel won't make that much of a difference. Okay, so now with a blue tack rag, I'm just taking off any of that dust. And now the panel is prepped and ready for the base colour. Okay, so the colour I'm going to use for the base coat is the Molly Orange by House of Colour. And this is a base coat urethane, so it needs to be two pack cleared, but you do mix it with thinners. And I'm going to use that to create my base. So the reason I'm using uh, automotive paints, you'll find out very, very soon. You can't do this special effect using water-based paints. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch on the extraction. Usually I would wear a mask, but I'm actually mic'd up at the moment. So if I wear a mask, you're not gonna hear much, obviously. So if you are gonna do this at home, be sure to do it in a well-ventilated area and make sure you wear proper protection because the uh, products are quite toxic to your health. Okay, so let's get into it using my Iwata HPCS Eclipse. I'm just going to spray a base coat of this Molly Orange to get some coverage. So this has been pre-thinned. with a house of colour reducer. If you've got a mini spray gun or a spray gun, by all means use that. A lot easier to get coverage. I just thought I'd show you using an airbrush. I do have a little mini spray gun, but then that way you can follow the steps as I am here if you've only got an airbrush. Give that a few more coats. So if this is the first time watching one of our videos, and welcome for all of our regular viewers, welcome back. I do hope that you're enjoying this video so far. 
I do weekly tutorials, so consider subscribing, tap on that bell icon, that'll notify you every time I put out new content. And if you do enjoy it, by all means hit like, share it out, and let's build this airbrushing community together. So say probably one more or two more coats and we're done. Obviously, because it's an existing black base, it's gonna take a little bit longer to cover. going to flip the panel like so just to get a bit of coverage that way. If you're curious about the products that I'm using in this video I'll pop some links in the description below so you can go check them out. Okay, so now that the panel's painted, I want to add some uh, water droplets to this. So I'm just going to use some regular water and I'm just going to spill that randomly over the panel. Now, you can create all different shapes of water droplets, but I'm going to keep them relatively small. If you do really large ones, they will take a while to dry. So effectively what the water's doing is it's sitting on top of the panel as a droplet and um, it's masking off the base color. But what it's also doing, it's giving us a 3D object and I'm going to, in a minute, angle my airbrush from two different sides um, on about a 45 degree angle. And then that way the droplet, because it's uh, three dimensional, Half of the overspray will sit on one side, the other half on the other, giving us a shadow and a highlight. And then once it's dry, it will, um, the water, once it evaporates, you're gonna have these nicely rendered droplets and done very, very easily. So I'll spray a couple more here. A few little ones there. Just try and fill the whole panel. That's probably about as big as you want to go. Actually, I'll leave it at that. Okay, so just a closer look. So this is why you need to use automotive paints for this particular process, because the paint is actually going to sit as dust, overspray dust, on the droplet of water. And if it's water-based paint, it will just mix in with the water, which is obviously not what we want. Okay, so pretty happy with that. You can see the whole panel there. We're ready to go and render our droplets. Okay, so now I'm gonna render the droplets and I'm gonna use House of Color Black. Just put some of that in the Eclipse. Okay, so on an angle like so, I'm going to allow the overspray to drift over the panel and it's gonna sit on the right-hand side of the uh, water droplet and then I'm gonna go on to the other side and I'm gonna spray white and then that will give us our highlight on the opposite edge. So let's go ahead and do that. I wanna do a few passes just so that it sits on there. Obviously gotta be careful not to go too close because we don't want the, um, the spray the air to push our droplets. We want them to stay in position. I'm going to give that a, about three generous coats and see how far away I am. So really, really basic technique to do but extremely effective which you'll see once I'm done. Just top that paint up a little bit. A couple more passes and we're done. Okay, so now to add the highlight, I'm going to put some House of Color Bright White in the airbrush and I'm gonna spray from the other side. 
Okay, so I'm going to spray from this side now. Same angle. And this is going to then create our highlight. So I'll do the same, I'll do about three passes. And that should give us a nice bright white highlight. Okay, so taking a closer look now, you can see the droplets have all been rendered. So you can see that white overspray dust on one side and then the darker shading on the other. So simple design to do, obviously can be uh, used for any application, for backdrops, whatever you like, and you can also do different colours, doesn't necessarily have to be this colour combination. Obviously keep in mind that the if you did this on a black panel, the uh, dark shadow wouldn't show up because you're using black. But all that we've got to do now is I've got to wait till it evaporates. So this can take a couple of hours or overnight and then I'll come back and we'll take a look at how it looks. Okay, so here is the completed water droplets panel before clear. I'm gonna put some clear on that in a minute. Now how cool does that look? Nice and 3D. So let's go ahead and unmask it and get some clear on it. Okay, so I'm going to clean up a couple of these uh, little areas with black, just to neaten it up a bit. Okay, let's get some clear on this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, mix up some of this two-pack clear. I'm just using a generic brand of two-pack clear here, nothing too flash. It's only to seal the panel off. As you probably know, I don't do the clear coating myself on my project, so all my artwork stuff gets outsourced. And um, my painters use, you know, really good quality uh, materials, either DNA paints, House of Colour or PPG. So just going to make up a two-to-one mix. So using my cup here, I'm going to follow the guide for the two to one. So first some clear, then I'm going to add the hardener, and then just some uh, reducer. So it's important that you follow the mixes accurately to whatever the um, label says. I'm going to give that a stir. So mixing all the clear, the hardener, and that little bit of reducer together. Now ideally you want to be doing this in a spray booth. I've just put my extraction fan on in my studio. Uh, once I've sprayed this, I'm just going to leave the extraction fan on and leave the studio. So I'm not going to be sitting in here after it's sprayed. And I'll let the extraction totally suck out all of the fumes. You don't want to be around this. It's uh, highly toxic and I will be wearing a mask. Wearing my Sunstrom mask, and I'm going to put it in a LPH 80, the Awada.
Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next tutorial. Bye for now.